sorry. <sighs> Cut it out. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? I know I already asked you this, but are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? <sighs> What's so hard to understand? I'm Renan, you're Danon. There's no way. Besides, I'm from Lenegas. Trust me, wherever you were before you lost your memory, we've never crossed paths. Lenegas? You mean the same Lenegas that's up in the sky? I've heard it called the Renan's Castle, but I never imagined people actually lived up there. Well then, where did you think we all lived? Didn't you see the Renan Lords descend for the crown contest? And how long ago was that? Well, the current contest started seven years ago, so... Then I wouldn't remember. Just how far back do you remember? About a year, give or take. That's how long ago Doc found me. One year. Then no. I'm sorry, but there really is no way we could have met. Guess not. Okay, people. This is it. Ulzebeck. No sign of any Renin guardsmen. The Renans aren't as populous as the Danans. Probably figure stationing guards in a place like this would be a waste of precious manpower. So this is where the next safe house is? Yes. The last place they'd think to look for enemies is on their own doorstep. That is, assuming anyone actually made it here before us. Zephyr! Looks like we needn't have worried. Come on. Zephyr, you made it! See? I told you there's no way Zephyr would have kicked the bucket. Fine, you were right. So, what's the plan? Well, we've got an ace up our sleeve and the enemy's in disarray. I say we strike while the iron's hot. So we're finally going head-to-head -head with Balsef. That's right. We can't afford to mess this up. It's now or never. Then now it is! We've all been waiting for this day for far too long! Leave the plan to me. In the meantime... Yeah... You two need to do something about your outfits. I have just the thing for your size. Stay right there, okay? Ta-da! I told you, it fits like a dream. I'm afraid we don't have any Renan clothing. I could find you some Danon outfits. But something tells me you'd rather pass. Is this really that important? In case you need reminding, I'm here because our interests overlapped. Nothing more. At no point did I say I've given up being a Renan. Now, now, let's play nice. How about you ask Nate and see what he says? He's our one-stop shop for info around here. With any luck, he might just know something. <sighs> Try to be careful not to stand out too much. You're the only Renan around here, you know. I know. I was just thinking about how communal it feels here, even though it's only supposed to be slave quarters. Huh? Oh, yeah. When you put it like that, I guess it is different from heavily patrolled Mosgul. Were you expecting something more depressing? It's likely a sign that Balsef doesn't think you guys can do anything to him. What? I mean, if Balsef thought the Crimson Crows actually posed a threat to him, he'd figure he'd be trying harder to suppress them. You... Uh, uh, no. You're probably right about that. All of the other Danans that aren't with the Crimson Crows accept the Renan's rule as simply a fact of life. From the day we're born, no, probably even before that, it's been drilled into us that the only purpose our lives have is to help select the next Sovereign. If they don't like the status quo, then they should fight it. Otherwise, they're endorsing it either way. 
I see it differently, but that's just me. Speaking of Renans, do all of them think about things the way you do? I won't deny that among my fellow Renans, power and status are everything. However, that isn't what this is about for me. I have something I need to do, and I'll do whatever it takes and use whoever and whatever I need in order to get the job done. To hell with power. Nath, we need your help. Ah, oh, damn. Never the manpower when you... Huh? Help, huh? What kind? Is it urgent? Well, no, not exactly. Well, in that case, would you mind helping me out with something first? The work's really piled up around here. What is it you'd like us to do? Anything you can manage. No one cares about us slaves. That's why it's all the more important that we stick together and take care of each other. Check in with that guy over there for details on what needs doing. And thanks in advance. What? They're all dead? How did this happen? Soldiers, that's how. Are you... Iron Mask? <laughs> yeah, I am. Dyron sent me to help. Hang in there! I'm so glad you made it. In the bushes over there, you'll... Hang on. Sion, do something! It's no use. He's already dead. Damn them! They've killed so many of us, and it's still not enough! They won't be satisfied until they've wiped us all out like pests! He mentioned something about those bushes. We should check them. Is this... a cooking pot? But what is it doing here? If I had to guess, he put it there to make sure a Renan wouldn't steal it. <sighs> so even though he knew he was dying, he chose to use the last of his strength to hide it, believing somebody <sighs> would come for it. I guess you think it's stupid getting killed over a silly trinket, huh? No. Clearly he risked his life for something he believed in. I would never mock someone for that. However, it will be up to us to figure out the purpose behind his dying act. We'll make sure it wasn't in vain. If nothing else, this proves that the Renans can be outsmarted. We'll carry out your will. And see it through to the end. Then we'd better get going. We don't know when those soldiers might be back to make another sweep of the area. You're back, huh? Sounds like it was a real ordeal out there. Much as I hate to admit it, there aren't many of us who can take on those Renan armored soldiers. All we can do is make sure we remember those who sacrificed their lives for the cause. Yeah, they won't be forgotten. Glad to hear it. Now, what was that favor you wanted to ask me? Oh, right. Well, you see... So then, you're wondering if I know of any places where you can find Renan equipment, huh? Anywhere with those damn bright eyes is gonna have tight security, of course. You can't just go carelessly poking around. Unless... Across the wilderness, outside Ulzebek, you'll find the Fagan Ruins. There's some kind of old Renan castle out there. What with it being impenetrable, I forgot. But with a Renan tagging along, who knows? Maybe you can find some way in. You ask me, though, it's a lot of trouble for some Renan rags. If I were you, I'd get comfortable with Danon garbs. Hey, Shion, where does your gun come from? What do you mean, where does it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space. And when I do, I summon it. Make sense? Not really, but it sounds pretty amazing. Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. 
You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology's technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. I guess that's true. I wonder if those are the Fagin ruins below us. Shouldn't be too much farther now, if that's the... Uh... I guess it's been a while since I had a bite to eat. Don't worry about me. I'm used to working while I'm hungry. It's no big deal. It is a big deal. You should eat whenever you can. The last thing I need is you keeling over in the middle of a fight just because you didn't eat. Never thought I'd get lectured on eating by a Renan, of all people. Yeah, well, some of us Renans know what it's like to go without food, believe it or not. What do you mean? I thought... This isn't about me. Now, are you going to eat or not? I would, if we had anything to eat. But we don't. <sighs> Actually, I have a little bit of food on me. You've been carrying that stuff around this whole time? I'm not sure it's going to be enough for the both of us, though. That's why we're going to cook it instead. Cook? I've never done anything like that before. Me neither, to be honest. But we've got to make something out of all this, so might as well try. You really do eat through that mask of yours, huh? I'm impressed you can manage so well. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. You get used to it after a while. Still, I'm glad we decided to stop and fill our stomachs. I've got a newfound respect for cooking now. But I guess that's easy when you're used to eating everything raw. It would have been perfect if it had any flavor. Sorry it didn't live up to your palate. Oh, no, that wasn't a knock on you. I was just... Sorry, that's not how I should thank you for cooking for me. You've got me curious now. Is it just pain you can't sense, or are your taste buds shot too? Oh, sure, my taste buds work fine. Although, apparently what I like tends to be a little out there. How so? What's so unusual about what you eat? Well, one time I couldn't get enough of these things I picked off a plant, but everyone else said they were way too spicy. Doc thinks maybe I crave spicy food to compensate for the lack of pain I feel. Maybe it's best I take charge of the cooking. You know, just to be on the safe side. I can't guarantee it'll be to your tastes, though. I said I'm sorry. Look, I'll learn to tone down my tastes in the future, so let's just put that slip of the tongue behind us already. This must be it. Looks pretty ancient, but I recognize Renan architecture when I see it. It's seen some beatings. If it stayed sealed all this time, it's not because people left it alone. It's not just their technology. The Renans build their structures out of special materials, too. Strong enough to withstand assaults from Danon tools and weaponry, anyway. So, how the hell are we... Easy. <sighs> Phew. <laughs> That may not have been a fancy feast we just had, but I don't remember the last time I felt this full. Do the Renans often not give you all enough to eat? It's never enough. The Renans decide exactly how much we'll have and when we'll have it, and that's that. We do our best to get around it. Everyone has to grow their own food and such behind the Renans' backs in order to get by. Thinking about it now, I wonder if they've always kept it meager so we would never have the energy to try to resist what they've done to us. Yeah. An empty stomach takes its toll on the body and the spirit after a while. How does a Renan like you know what it's like? I may be Renan, but they don't like me either. I could be squeaky clean and they still wouldn't give me anything. your stomach just... I didn't hear anything. But you just ate. How are you already... I said I didn't hear anything. <sighs> I still have some I haven't eaten yet. Do you want it? Sure. This must be... The former owner's old wardrobe, yeah. I wonder how long they've hung here. 
They don't look like they've aged a day. The designs are a little dated, but it'll have to do. Listen, I get it. You care how you look. But we've got places to... What is it? N no, I... Uh, nothing. We've kept Zephyr and the others waiting long enough. We should head back. You said before that this probably used to be a supply depot, right? But Nath thought it was a Renan castle. I wonder what it actually is. Who knows? Who knows? What, can't I not know something? You didn't think I knew every last thing about my own kind, did you? I didn't say that. <sighs> From what I've heard, a lot of the materials that were initially brought over from Rena 300 years ago were repurposed for other things over time. So it's entirely possible that this place used to be both a supply depot and a lord's castle at different points in time. They're not mutually exclusive. I couldn't tell you when the lord's castle moved to its current location, though. Well, satisfied? Uh, yeah. Thank you. You know, for telling me about all that. Uh, it's not like I mentioned anything that useful. Come on, let's keep moving. All right, everyone. It's time. Remember, eyes on the prize. We're after Balsef. Nothing else. Cut off the head, and the snake perishes. Hit them head on, however. And we won't make it through the castle gates, but alone reach Balsef himself. Luckily, we have an ace up our sleeve. We need to do everything in our power to make sure that ace reaches Balsef's jugular. To that end, I'll be splitting us up into separate forces. You just said all of us hitting them head on would be useless. Why would we divide ourselves up? Because we're the decoys. We'll buy our ace in the hole the time they need to get in. We only need to cause enough of a ruckus around the castle to distract the enemy. That said, we need to look like the real deal, which is why I'll be tagging along too. You too, Zephyr? So who's going to take on Balsef? The Iron Mask. I'm counting on you and Xion to make your way to wherever Balsef's hiding. Once there, you drive that flaming sword right through him. You aren't seriously sending in just those two, are you? One of them's a Renan. No one said the plan was perfect. By far, the biggest danger is the one you two will be facing. The fate of this quest rests entirely in your hands, which is why you get the final say. You want out? Now's the time to say so. And if we say no? Then you say no. Just means we're back to square one, that's all. And I go back to being a slave. It's your life. No, it isn't. Ball's in your court, soldier. What do you say? I... I want to fight. But for what? What are you fighting for? To free the Danans from the yoke of their abusive oppressors. To no longer die at the whim of another. To break the shackles of our enslavers. To live and taste freedom! Now you're talking. I believe we have our ace in the hole, people. Hold on to that belief, and we just might break through that wall yet. And what about you? I was born ready. Now can we get this show on the road? 
There's a gate on your right once you leave here. Go through it and ride the elevator you'll find. I'll send ahead a few friendly faces to keep watch on your way. If you get into any trouble, look to them for support. We all clear? Good. May this battle herald the end of the Renan's bloody three-century reign. Dear battle stations, everyone! <sighs> I still can't believe this is happening. We're really about to face off against a Renan Lord. Well, you're in pretty high spirits for a guy going into a life-and-death battle. I'm not saying I'm not worried. But you have to remember, this is the first time any of us Danans have really had any hope. What about you? Are you scared at all? I don't have time to be scared. This is only the first step in a long, long plan of mine. You want to take down all five lords, right? It's hard to believe it'll ever happen. But it will. I know. I haven't forgotten our deal. See that you don't. That said, if we lose, we might suffer a fate worse than death, you know. That's probably true. But instead of worrying about it, wouldn't it be a better use of our time to figure out ways to avoid that and not lose? I suppose. Whatever happens, I'll put everything I have into winning. You can count on that. It's already started. We need to hurry. Hold on. You should take the Blazing Sword. Are you sure? Yeah. We don't know what might happen up ahead. It's better to have it and be ready, than to be caught in a fight without it. the liberty of cutting the flow of energy from the Master Core. I may be giving you the sword, but you still need me to unleash its power. Try not to forget that. Where the hell is Balsef? If we don't hurry up and find him... You're too close. Try to stay farther apart. Oh, right. Sorry about that. <sighs> Was I really that close? I guess I'm just not used to standing right next to people. You mean because of your thorns? <laughs> You're a surprisingly nice person. What? You don't think so? I mean, you just made sure your thorns wouldn't... You can keep your opinions to yourself. You don't know the first thing about me. I'm not saying I know everything about you. Sheesh. No need to bite my head off. You just can't take a hint, can you? What? <sighs> I'm sorry. You're right. I don't know what sorts of hardships you've been through. After all, what could I possibly know about pain? <sighs> I know you didn't mean anything bad by what you said. The throne room is up on the next floor. That's probably where we'll find Balsef. <sighs> hey. What? If there's something you want to say, just come out and say it. Huh? I hate when I feel like people are laughing at me on the inside. Especially someone like you where I can't read your expression. What? Why would I laugh at you? What are you talking about? My outfit. As soon as you saw me in those ruins, you wanted to say something, didn't you? Oh, it's not that. It's just... Just what? N nothing You're a truly awful person. You know that? An awful... Hey, you're the one jumping to conclusions about what I think. You're not one to talk. Then prove me wrong and tell me what you were really thinking. 
It wasn't anything mean about you, I promise. I don't believe that for a second. And it doesn't matter what the hell I tell you. You'll always doubt me. <laughs> hmm. Having second thoughts? No. I was just thinking about the blazing sword. Whenever I hold it, I feel... wrong somehow. Is relying on a sword from a Renan Master Corps that repulsive? It's not about that. It's just... <sighs> it's hard to explain. It's like the sword is almost too strong. I don't know what's got you so worried, but in case you forgot, that sword is the only reason we have a fighting chance against a lord. I know. You don't need to keep telling me. <laughs> well, good. That said, the longer you use it, the more you get burned by it, too. We need to remember to patch you up quickly when that happens. A double-edged sword in every sense. Since you can't feel pain, you'll need to be careful, okay? Uh, are you actually worried about me? Is that a problem? Look, I need you if I'm going to take out the Lords. And I can't have you dying on me before that happens. That's my only concern. Are you okay? What were you even doing here? Working, most likely. Dan and slaves that can't handle manual labor outdoors are put to work in the castles as servants. I'm surprised you didn't know. The soldiers got really mad all of a sudden and everyone ran away! I was the only one that got caught! And it's good that we found you, but it's still not safe here. You need to get out of here before any more soldiers... Yes, ma'am. Thanks for saving me. Oh, here. You can have this. Don't touch me. Uh. Uh, I'm sorry. I only wanted to... to... It's not your fault, kid. Don't sweat it. Can I take it instead? Sure! It's the key to the elevator here! Will it help you guys at all? Definitely. Thanks, kid. Now get going. And be careful on your way out. <sighs> so, not too happy about a slave touching you, huh? This isn't the time. We should keep moving. <sighs> this place looks damn near the same on the outside as it does on the inside. Nothing but fire and rocks. I figured a Renan castle would at least be a little more elegant. Instead, it seems this one was very dedicated to a theme. Is that your idea of a joke? Don't lump the rest of us in with someone like Balsef. Then why does his place look so grungy? I guess you could say that's just the majority of what he's into. He likes fire, and he likes rocks. He's an egotistical brute without a single shred of class. He even makes everyone call him by his stupid nickname, the Wild Beast. I feel sorry for everyone who's stuck having to work beneath him. Huh. Interesting. Why? I used to think all Renans were like him. Terrible people, obsessed with their own superiority, who are only out to make us miserable. But now, listening to you talk makes me realize that maybe there are some good ones, too. Maybe there are a few of you that are different. Listen, I don't know what kind of Renan you think I am, but I have no intention of getting friendly with you. We clear? Crystal, believe me, I wasn't about to suggest we go hang out and have a drink after this, that's for sure. What are those things I sometimes see you chuck out in the middle of fights? What? You mean my bombs? Bombs? As in the things people use to clear out rocks? But I could have sworn I saw something other than fire burst from some of yours. That's because these aren't ordinary bombs. They're specially made ones filled with astral energy. Hmm, okay. And why do you shoot the bombs after you release them? It's a part of my strategy. The effects of my bombs change when I fire bullets of a different astral element at them. 
It makes it difficult for enemies to predict what effect they'll have, or when they'll go off. One moment you're using powerful bombs, the next you're using powerful healing arts. They're kinda on the opposite ends of the spectrum, aren't they? Think of it this way. If you ever get caught up in the blast of one of my bombs and you manage not to die, I'll be able to heal you using my arts. Hmm. I'll do my best to not die then.